an unhappy spirit. Spirit, what say you? What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Epic Hawk. Hunt the waters. Bounty of the seas. A fisherman? Yes, and warrior, and husband. Why do you stand here, fallen one? What does this totem mean to you? Stand where I fall. Temple of wind protects even in death. I mean no harm to the temple. I am Olmec, holy warrior. Lies and deceptions like evil one. None may pass. All seek to destroy. You are confused, lost warrior. I speak the truth. Quetzalcoatl is my enemy as well. Step aside so that I may visit the temple. Prove, prove words true. Act of faith. Perform the test before I grant passage. Who was your wife? She who has my heart. I meant her name. What is her name? You not harm her, you will. I accept your challenge, Shade. What will be this test of faith? If never given. A gift for your wife? Of what kind? Glimmers, circles, neck. A necklace? Simple enough. I will find one for her and... No! Special is this. Crafted for her. Make her kept it. What was your station as a warrior, spirit? Young I was, but older than Ometok. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. A truly venerable woman. Old woman, what say you? <laughs> I see the oracle was successful in summoning you. Although at this point, I don't see much use in it. The damage has been done. You have no purpose here. What do you mean by that, bitter crone? I am Olmec. I fight for the gods themselves. You sound as zealous as my husband, the fool. What man would be mad enough to wed your sour tongue, old one? Ha! Ah. Tezacatl, the witch is my husband. He fathered two fine warriors with me, and now he runs to meet death's embrace. Meanwhile, I must sit obediently while he throws away his life on a fool's errand. What errand do you speak of? He plans on fighting that bastard. Undead king using his small magic. He is doomed and will die in vain. Where are your two sons? Did they die in battle? Yes. Quetzalcoatl shattered their bodies as though they were made of straw. Soon my fool husband will join them, and I'll be truly alone. What is that you are mixing? 
Nothing important, holy one. Just a simple balm for my aching bones. Age has not been kind to me. Can one woman's sorrow be so great? Woman, what say you? Why do you weep so? <laughs> Forgive me, O Holy One, for not showing you the proper respect. But I am racked with grief over the loss of my husband. He died in the battle with Quetzalcoatl. Who was your husband? His name was Tepic Talk. He was a warrior, but also the village's best fisherman. He lived off the gifts of the sea, and devoutly worshipped the goddess of water. The cool walls of the water temple were to his liking, and he often spent his days in deep meditation and prayer there. <laughs> I have seen that the water temple is flooded. Yes, by the evil one's doing. Quetzalcoatl called down a wave of water to destroy it, but it still stands proudly in the water. Why does this woman worry so? Woman, what say you? Olmec, you have come to us. Thank the gods for our prayers have been answered. Yes, your prayers reach me and I am here. What is your station? I am the wife of the chieftain. Why was your husband spared Quetzalcoatl's wrath? He was praying inside the temple of the Jaguar when the evil one came. By the time the echoes of death reached him, the battle was over. He emerged to find nearly the entire village destroyed. He was bound by tradition to become chieftain. Thus he cannot attack Quetzalcoatl, and now he broods in a dark mood. He sees himself a coward for not being able to die in battle with the others. What happened during the battle? At first, when we saw our revered king back from the land of the dead, we were overjoyed. We thought he had come back to lead us to great victories. Instead, he came to destroy us. Although our warriors fought fiercely, Quetzalcoatl scattered them like broken twigs. After they had been killed, he unleashed his dark magic on us. What magics did he wield? He caused a massive wave to come down and crush the Temple of Water. He caused the earth to shake violently. The mountain broke apart and almost crushed all the huts, bearing the Temple of Wind. Only the Temple of the Jaguar withstood his power. You speak of tradition as though it is undesirable. Your husband should be honored to be chieftain. But Olmec, oh wise one, it was never his desire to become chieftain, especially not this way. Working with the earth and revealing the secrets it hid inside brought him great joy. Who remains in the village? There are but a handful of us left. My husband does what he can to repair the damage of the walls of the huts but his mind, it's elsewhere. The death of our beloved daughter weighs heavily upon him. She was killed in the battle? My husband insists that she was crushed beneath the boulders which destroyed the village walls. You speak as though you disbelieve your own words. I cannot help myself. I somehow feel that she still lives. This lowly worker appears strong and proud. You there, what is your station? <laughs> I was the stonemason. Now I am village chief. What are you? And why do you enter this village? I am Olmec, holy warrior. You dare address me in that tone? I do. You may frighten the others, but you'll get no such satisfaction from me. Where were you when we needed you most? Your arrival now means nothing to me. You're too late. You say I am late, but you are wrong. Is that so? My precious daughter lies crushed beneath these rocks. The day Quetzalcoatl arrived, I prayed to your god with all my heart. And you come to us now? 
The warriors are dead. The temples are in ruins. My daughter is dead. You say your daughter is dead. How do you know? She was in her hut when the rocks fell. Look around you. Death is everywhere. I have lost everything that is dear to me. You say you were the stonemason? Yes, that is my trade. Like my father before me and his father before him, I work the earth, shaping it to my will. I am a simple craftsman who now rules what's left of this village. A heavy burden on my weary shoulders. There are worse fates, Mason. I know. I have seen what happens to those who oppose Quetzalcoatl's rule. His punishment is swift and severe, in death as it was in life, when he ruled this village as king. Yes, but he was just and true back then, not this abomination which has returned to destroy us. We revered him when he was of flesh and bone, and upon his death, we crafted a tomb as a monument to his greatness. I myself crafted the stones and jewelry he was adorned with. Mason, I would have a word with you. I have spoken with the spirit of Tepetak, warrior and husband to Kalkihut. The fisherman? His spirit remains here? Yes. You have the necklace that belongs to his wife. Give it to her, or I will shatter your limbs like twigs. Very well. Tell your spirit I will deliver his gift. I have spoken with the Mason Dead One. He will deliver the gift as promised. Open to me. Boulders are no match for the mighty Olmec. must be the stonemason's daughter. Your parents miss you greatly. I will take you home. Kotulkyu, my daughter. You have returned from death. Fool. She was trapped within the temple. Had you not been so stubborn and full of self-pity, you would have realized that. Oh, my precious daughter! I'm so sorry. Go see your mother. She misses you terribly. <laughs> 